Hello students, I am your 20 minute teacher. I will be teaching you mathematics for 25 minutes. Are you ready? The next mathematics lesson that I will explain to you for 25 minutes is Problem solving involving Linear functions Let us define again what is a function. It is a relation in which each element of the domain or the x-coordinate corresponds exactly one element of the range or the y-coordinate. In other words, it is a relation which no two or more ordered pairs have the same x-coordinate or the domain. The abscissa is unique and function is illustrated as f of x is equal to mx plus b where m is the slope b is the y-intercept m and b are real numbers and m should not be equal to zero now let us have the steps in problem solving first identify the dependent and independent variables second generate a function third is evaluate the generated function and lastly check and interpret now let us have an example the production cost of face mask by a manufacturer is calculated by f of x is equal to 20x plus 30 per box. The question is, how much will the cost of face mask per box of 50 boxes, 100 boxes, and 150 boxes? Step 1. Identify the dependent and independent variables. Our unknowns are number of boxes for the dependent variable and the cost of face mask per box for our independent variable. Step 2. Generate a function based on the unknowns. Since the function was already introduced in the problem, which is f of x is equal to 30x plus 30. Step 3. Evaluate the generated function. We have f of x is equal to 30x plus 30. Our x is equal to 50. So, we need to evaluate the given value of x to our function. We have f of 50 is equal to 30 times 50, which is the value of x plus 30 simplify f of 50 is equal to 30 times 50 equals 1500 plus 30 then simplify further so 1500 plus 30 that is equal to 1530 now let us have 100 for the value of our x f of 100 is equal to 30 times 100 which is the value of x plus 30 simplify f of 100 is equal to 30 times 100 equals 3000 plus 30 then simplify further so 3000 plus 30 that is equal to 3030 now let us have 150 for the value of our x. f of 150 is equal to 30 times 150, which is the value of x, plus 30. Simplify. f of 150 is equal to 30 times 150 equals 4500 plus 30. Then simplify further. So 4500 plus 30. That is equal to 4530. 
So, the cost of face mask if the manufacturer will produce. 50 boxes is 1,530 pesos. 100 boxes will be 3,030 pesos. And 150 boxes will cost 4,530 pesos. Example number 2. A rental van fee of 2,000 pesos per day. Plus 10 pesos per mile traveled. How much does the rental payment? If a total of 40 miles, 60 miles, and 80 miles were driven in a day. Step 1. Identify the dependent and independent variables. Our unknowns are number of miles traveled for the dependent variable and the cost of rental for our independent variable. Step 2. Generate a function based on the unknowns. Since there is a constant amount, payment, per day, which is 2,000, and there is an additional payment, 10 pesos per mile traveled. So, our function would be f of x is equal to 10x plus 2,000. Step 3. Evaluate the generated function. We have f of x is equal to 10x plus 2000. Our x is equal to 40. So, we need to evaluate the given value of x to our function. We have f of 40 is equal to 10 times 40, which is the value of x plus 2000. Simplify. f of 40 is equal to 10 times 40 equals 400 plus 2000. Then simplify further. So 400 plus 2000. That is equal to 2400. Now let us have 60 for the value of our x. f of 60 is equal to 10 times 60 which is the value of x plus 2000 simplify f of 60 is equal to 10 times 60 equals 600 plus 2000 then simplify further so 600 plus 2000 that is equal to 2600 now let us have 80 for the value of our x f of 80 is equal to 10 times 80, which is the value of x, plus 2000. Simplify. f of 80 is equal to 10 times 80 equals 800 plus 2000. Then simplify further. So 800 plus 2000. That is equal to 2800. So, the cost of rental payment for 40 miles is 2,400 pesos. 60 miles will be 2,600 pesos. And 80 miles will cost 2,800 pesos. Example number 3. An average person can type a 62 words per minute. How long will a person Finish typing novel with 110,918 words. Step 1. Identify the dependent and independent variables. Our unknowns are number of words per minute for the dependent variable and the time to finish typing for our independent variable. Step 2. Generate a function based on the unknowns. Since. It needs to have a 62 words per minute. So. Our function would be. F of x is equal to. 62x. Step 3. Evaluate the generated function. We have. 
f of x is equal to 62x. Since our f of x or our dependent variable was given, which is equal to 110,918. So, we need to evaluate the given value of our dependent variable. We have 110,918 is equal to 62x. Simplify. We need to eliminate the 62 to solve for x. We can do that one using division property of equality. We have 62x divided by 62 and 110,918 divided by 62. That is equal to 179. For our last example, a 500 liter tank full of oil is being drained at the constant rate of 20 liters per minute. How many liters are in the tank? After 11 minutes and 45 seconds. Step 1. Identify the dependent and independent variables. Our unknowns are time for the dependent variable and liters of the remaining oil for our independent variable. Step 2. Generate a function based on the unknowns. Since the tank is full of 500 liters of oil, we need to subtract the liters of oil to be drained to get the remaining oil in the tank. So, our function would be f of x is equal to 500 minus 20x. Step 3. Evaluate the generated function. We have f of x is equal to 500 minus 20x. Our x is equal to 11 minutes and 45 seconds. We need to convert the time into decimals. So that we can multiply it. We will just convert the seconds. As we all know that 1 minute has 60 seconds. So we will divide 45 to 60. That is equal to 0 0.75. So our minutes now is 11.75. So, we need to evaluate the given value of x to our function. We have f of 11.75 is equal to 500 minus 20 times 11.75, which is the value of x. Simplify f of 11.75 is equal to 500 minus 20 times 11.75 equals 235 then simplify further so 500 minus 235 that is equal to 265 so it has 265 liters in the tank after 11 minutes and 45 seconds of draining. That's it. We are done in problem solving involving linear function. I will leave an exercise for you to practice what we've learned.
See you in my next video.